So people have been asking me, what gives you the cutting edge when it comes to competition, when it comes to being number one, when it comes to accomplishing your goals? Well, there's a few things. Um, one of them is discipline. And uh, as you can see right now, I'm here at Diesel Muscle and uh, there are people here. It's almost 1 a.m. in the morning. So disciplining yourself to get to the gym, regardless of the time, regardless of everything you have to do, regardless of, you know, all your responsibilities in life, get your ass to the gym. Number two is have a plan. You know, don't just go into the gym and wing it. Don't just think that you're going to go in there and do a couple little girly moves and leave. You really have to have a plan. You have to know what you're doing. You have to have some kind of a, a guideline to get you from point A to point Z, right? And um, there's a few other tips that I'm going to share with you at the end of this video. But for now, we're going to go in and we're going to hit some back, baby. Let's do it. Right, do some muscle, baby. Real bodybuilders lift. Thank you. 
30 in the morning and I just seriously closed down the gym. In fact, I think I'm going to go back in and turn the music off. Rob provides a quality workout facility here so I like to um, respect him and if I'm the last one to leave at night I turn out the music and turn the lights out except for maybe one light just so it's not so dark in there but anyway that was back tonight and I did a lot of volume. I did variation on the rack pulls. I put the bands on the bar which made it a lot more challenging and then I went on to do pull-ups which is hard for most people to do pull-ups anyway but as a second exercise it could be extra challenging I did five sets of 10 reps each actually the last set the last couple of reps I was barely making it but um and then I did something new I did the bent over dumbbell row and I definitely put on the belt because I went kind of heavy I went up to 60 on that one I started with 40 so I did 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and then that was enough, four sets of that. And then I did the rope lat pulls, which um, I absolutely love that. I love cable moves. They really do dial in your physique. And then I went on to do arms, uh, biceps. I did two supersets. The first one I did like a hammer type curl with the rope. And then the second one I did a standard type curl with the bar and I barely got four sets of that. My arms were so spent by the time I got to that exercise that I could barely get four sets. And I think my last uh, set was only six reps, barely. So anyway, but, so I wanted to talk to you about what sets the 1% apart. Well, there's a few things. It may seem really simple, but 99% of people will never do this, okay? One of them is mindset. You have to have a positive mindset if you want to succeed at anything including working out in the gym, making money, improving your health, whatever it is that you want to do, if it's a new hobby that you want to do, if you want to learn a new language, discipline and mindset will set you apart from those who don't succeed. You wonder why people stand on stage and win medals and win trophies. It's not because they're the most genetically gifted, it's because they're the most mindset gifted. And when you put your mind to something, and you meditate and you learn how to focus in on your target goal. And I don't mean forcing it. I mean really intrinsically believing that you're gonna succeed at that thing. And it is, it's really an intrinsic belief. You have to have the thought and the feeling before you can manifest the things that you want. It is proven 
Quantum physics has proven this over and over and over again. And I emphasize meditation for a reason. It's because it helps you discipline your mind to focus in on your goal. You know, the subconscious mind is in contact with the holographic universe. And as you are, as the subconscious mind is working in the background, connecting with the universe to bring to you your reality, you have to have the conscious mindset, the belief and the discipline. So that being said, the 1% will do that. 99% of people will not succeed at the things that they set out to do. The reason for that is because they are not able to focus on their target goal. They have negative thoughts ruminating in the background. They are playing the victim. They don't believe in themselves. All these things will work against you. It's not just the act of doing, okay? It's also the act of believing. And if you don't have those two things aligned, you will not accomplish anything. Okay, that's number one. In terms of working out and getting the physique that you want, you have to follow guidelines. Guidelines of a disciplined diet. You have to be disciplined in the gym. Can't make excuses for yourself. You gotta get up and you gotta do it. I'm here every day. Whether it's 10.30 at night, 2 a.m., I'm here. I've designed my life in a way that works for me. And if you're thinking, oh, my life doesn't allow for this, then do something about it. Because nobody is going to change your life but you. Nobody is going to get up off their ass and make you do it. You gotta do it yourself. If you don't think that you can do it, you won't. Okay, that's the bottom line. Another thing that separates the champions from the losers is that losers quit when they're tired, champions quit when they've won, okay? And they don't even really quit because once they're done with that, they get up and they do something else. There's a very fine line between winners and losers, but it's actually a huge, huge barrier in terms of people being able to get to that point where they keep going even when they're tired. You know, sometimes I'm tired. I come here to the gym, after my workout I feel better addicted dude I am addicted and once you get addicted to something that is benefiting you in your life you should be patting yourself on the back because nobody else is gonna pat you on the back okay nobody else is gonna tell you you can do it and even if somebody is telling you can do it if you're not telling yourself you can do it you're not gonna do it trust me nobody can pick your ass up bring you to the gym make you eat the right food make you get enough sleep make you have a positive mindset you got to do that yourself so bottom line Quit being a little bitch, okay? Get your ass up and do it. Whatever it is you want to accomplish in life. If you're working three jobs and having a hard time making ends meet, do something about your life. Nobody can improve your financial situation but you. Nobody can improve your physique but you. Nobody can improve your health but you. And if you're looking for somebody to blame, you're not gonna get better. You're gonna just keep blaming people and blaming people and never accomplishing anything in life with being a little bitch, okay? So those are the things that separate the winners from the losers. I'm not just talking about in the gym. I'm not just talking about bodybuilding. I'm not just talking about competing. I'm talking about in life. You see people that just seem to make things happen so easily. It's not easy for them, but it's also as easy for you if you had the same mindset, if you had the same belief, the thought and the feeling to manifest the things that you want without wavering. That doesn't mean today, okay, I'm gonna believe in myself and tomorrow, oh, this person, that person, and this is why I can't do this and this is why I can't do that. And my boss and my neighbor and my parents and um, the economy, the government. You know what? You're just looking for excuses not to do something. That's what you're doing. Once you quit blaming the world, your neighbor, your parents, your upbringing, you know, oh, my poor health, your poor health is your problem, nobody else's problem. It's not your doctor's problem. It's not your parents' problem. It's not the government's problem. It's not the grocery store's problem because they stock shelves with crap. It's your problem because of the choices you're making in your life. You stop making poor choices, you're gonna stop having poor outcome in your life, okay? So, many of you know me as Dr. Victoria Munoz. I'm a no bullshit doctor. People come into my office, they make excuses, uh -uh, that doesn't fly. Many of you know me as Victoria Munoz, CEO of Love & Line Marketing. 
I am a success coach and mentor. And if you're trying to build success in your life and you're blaming everybody and everything for the reason why you can't succeed, mm -mm, I'm a no bullshit coach. So that is my soapbox for tonight. That is what separates the winners from the losers in life. And bottom line is, quit being a little bitch. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Victoria Munoz. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Like this video and leave me a comment below and tell me how this video has helped you. And also, subscribe to the newsletter. It's completely free. You get health tips, success tips. You get the video with the detailed workout at the bottom. And, you know, I love doing this. I love helping people. So I hope I can help you. I'm signing out and uh, see you next time.